Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, firstly, for our LFR project, we had to we need to uh, we need a track. Uh, so create to create a track, we had to tinker again. Uh, here, here we use uh, we can use Cripple to draw the whole track, but we try to draw a smoother track that we see in robotics contests. Uh, so uh, so we use a box box shape here and set the height to zero and and we'll use to your tube for the u-turns uh, um, uh, then uh, we set the wall thickness accordingly uh, and then we will also make the height of this zero but we don't need the whole tube here so we uh, we to do to make it half uh, we will add a uh, we will add a whole box here and pair it up pair a group then we can group the half circle with the um, with the line and then we can select the color and uh, thus we can make the whole uh, whole track from here then we uh, export the track from here and we export the dot obj file from here we we can uh, we can import it in the wayboards from file and import 3d model and then we need to scale it to for the Assalamu alaikum, I am Intasar Ahmed. We have used the same robot that we used in our obstacle detection project using necessary sensors, enjoint, and rotational motor. Additionally, we have used eight IR sensors that we placed in such a way facing toward the ground so that the sensors can work accordingly following the line. We have placed it downward so that the robot can detect if it is on the track or not. We have used eight sensors here so that our robot can move precisely this is Mehdi I'll try to explain our robot controller code we have initialized some variables for our convenience and um, we have taken some arrays so that we can store our sensor values and uh, minimum and maximum of our sensor values and motor names and etc um, this these methods are going to be discussed discussed a bit later uh, I would like to start from this main program we have initialized a robot time step and uh, enables our camera uh, IR sensors and our finally our motors then we start the uh, our loop where we continuously read sensors so at first uh, we read the IR sensors that uh, eight IR sensors that uh, are connected uh, in the bottom part of our bot using this method read IR sensor so uh, Using a for loop, we get get eight uh, IR sensor values and um, try to compare it with minimum and maximum values that we set earlier. And we implement linear interpolation on the uh, sensor value. And then we try to limit it between uh, zero to one thousand so that all the sensor values are of same range. Same same range. Then uh, if if IR sensor new uh, IR sensor value after after inter interpolation is greater than two hundred, then we are sure that the body is online. I mean, uh, if uh, not, then the body is out of black line. Here, we try to calculate the average and sum uh, of eight IR sensors so that we can uh, determine the position of our bot, whether it's too much left on the uh, from the black line or too much right or it's in the middle. So using after using this average and sum, we uh, decided we decide this position, which is gonna be used to um, use a bit later. After uh, reading eight sensor values, we try to uh, set the in, set our initial uh, motor speed, and then we uh, use P PID module. In PID module, we have uh, calcul we have calculated P, I, and D using the formulas, and then we uh, detect the error and uh, change our motor speed according to the PID value that you get here. So after uh, the correction, PID correction, we try to uh, 
see if there's any uh, obstacle uh, obstacle uh, in front of us then we try to avoid that obstacle uh, using the method with using this method we didn't implement pid for this simple method just to avoid this uh, obstacle other than that to follow the line we uh, follow the pid code and finally if the motor is not on the bot is not online then we try to uh, correct our motor speed here and this part we uh, set our uh, four motors uh, two motor speed so that uh, it can move accordingly. Now I'll run the simulation. The bot is taking hard turns here and we'll try to avoid this obstacle. And eventually we'll get back on the track. Here in this part, the bot is trying to take smoother turns. Um, yes, and here in these areas, if we could have calibrated PID even more better, then we could have uh, taken even more smoother turns on those 90 degree angles. So that's it. Thank you for watching.